It's been a tragic and chaotic situation here at Adedengpo Palladium Down where four armed robbers have allegedly shot into a Mantran vehicle which had a driver, a police official and two other women at the back of the vehicle. Unfortunately, the driver has been shot in the arm and he's currently in a critical condition at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital, according to the police officials here. Unfortunately for the police official who was in the car with the driver, he has been shot in the head and unfortunately he died on the spot. Now the two women at the back were able to escape, but then a woman and this community who sells provisions in this particular structure here, unfortunately, after hearing um, the sounds of the shooting, tried to escape, but apparently the bullet passed through her skull and she is actually dead as well. So as I am speaking to you here at Adedempo, two people have been shot dead and according to the police officials here, they are currently at the police hospital morgue. But the driver is currently at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital receiving treatment. The news team on arrival at the scene met a number of residents at Adedempo down in dams were gathered at the scene where the robbery attack took place. The incident, according to eyewitnesses, occurred at about 12 p.m. on Monday, June 14, 2021. What happened is that I was sitting close to them and then we hear down shot. And then so we were two sitting down, we were three, so one ran away, so left with two. So I told one of my guys that we should block the other side. So when they are coming there, they cannot even pass there. So we blocked that side, not knowing um, they shoot the policeman first, they shoot the driver, his hand and then his finger and his hand. And then the woman at the back, they start beating him. So the woman rushed to this place. So she ran away and then that time they have shot the driver, two bullets and then they have killed the policeman. So they were shooting the bullets around. Once it passed through the wood and then cut the woman. So the cashier was able to escape? Yes, yeah, she was able to escape. How was the whole surrounding, like how were people reacting? To Everybody is scared. Everybody ran away. Because uh, the way they were shooting, they were not shooting up, they were shooting down directly. Okay. A straight bullet. So you cannot even do anything. You cannot even get close to them. How many people died? Two straight. Yeah. Which is the policeman and then the woman selling. You can see they were holding some bag in front of the motor. But we didn't see what is in, but we saw oh it's just slide a little bit, but not too much big. Yeah. So after they go the back, then they yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they go. Yeah, just um wasn't loud down is my our, our ghetto. Just here, our workshop ghetto inside here. Where what I hear is a gunshot. Boo! When I wake up, I see a young man holding AK-47, passing around, open the door and shoot another again. Boo! The moment when I saw that thing, I have to come down because I don't want to open myself. I don't want to talk anything again before I'm shouting. The home of Joyce Amankwa, popularly known as Madame a provision shop owner at Adedempo who was shot dead while trying to save her life home was being reduced to tears after the shocking incident. With heavy hearts, some of Joyce's family members spoke with me. Joyce Amanko, upon hearing the gun shot in the air, tried escaping, and apparently, when the armed robbers were shooting, um, this is actually a space and according to eyewitnesses a bullet passed through here and according to eyewitnesses as well it passed through her skull and if you should go inside there you see a pool of blood with um, a paper bag covering it by the police officials 
Acting Mayor of Accra, Ni Ajay Soa, was at hand to find out what really happened and he spoke to GH1 News. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm saddened by, by the unfortunate incident. It's not good at all. Do you think the country is losing its fight against um, criminal situations like these? Because such a similar situation happened at the police headquarters, um, Honeysuckle, um, somewhere last week. I wouldn't say so. I mean, such um, isolated cases cannot be generalized as a, a way of um, saying that the country it's on the stretch of um, mayhem and chaos. According to eyewitnesses, the robbers chased the bullion van to Adedempo and then fired warning shots to disperse persons present as they tried to seize a backpack in the van. After some seconds of struggle, the armed robbers fired at the police and the driver and made away with the bag. So now let me try and paint a picture of how the situation looked like here at Adedemko. As you can see, a hole has been created here which shows that a bullet has passed through this particular hole in here. There's also another one here as well. If, if my camera can zoom in right. And this is the Manchan vehicle that I was talking about that had um, four people in there which had the driver and the police official shot dead. Now a team is currently um, trying to investigate. Um, clearly they are in their protective gears trying to know exactly what the situation looks like or has been in here. And as the story unfolds, we will bring you details. Reporting for GH1 News, Godwin Asidiba.